Hello friends, my name is Kamal Mutyalama. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Mutu Service to Learn. Today I want to give you a little walkthrough about actually what is ServiceNow and why ServiceNow is useful for the customers, right? So today I want to cover all this agenda, introduction of ServiceNow, or of ServiceNow, and what are the various models in ServiceNow, and who uses the ServiceNow and single tenant and multi-tenant platform, right? So, what is ServiceNow? ServiceNow is a public trade company and headquarters in Santa Clara and in California. So, founded in 2003 and 4, right? So, ServiceNow is a cloud-based software platform for IT service management, ITSM, which helps to automate IT business management and it designed based on the ITIL guidelines to provide the service-oriented for tasks and activities as well as the processes, right? So, ServiceNow is an undemanded IT service management solution platform and ServiceNow is based on uh, Santa Disu, California. So, offices are around the globe, right? So, ServiceNow is about the people and helping to empower them with innovative IT solutions, right? So, ServiceNow is built using the Java Tomcat web servers running on the Linux and for configurations and development, new modules and application in ServiceNow. The JavaScript knowledge is sufficient and ServiceNow instance is a set of databases, applications and virtual machines and ServiceNow customer instances is a built on multi-instance architecture. So, ServiceNow instances is customizable. So now we will talk about why are so many companies are using ServiceNow as a cloud platform, right? So ServiceNow is a speed of development and single source of record in the in the cloud as well as the consistent innovations and and they are releasing the new apps, right, day by day. So the reason why ServiceNow implements so quickly because to many pre-built applications and they consistently innovate in application making easier and using the own out-of-box functionalities, correct? So, which great about ServiceNow, you can build on top of that and you can add the automation. It's going to and give you pre-built start applications, right? So, and we can also add the additional fields on top of it, correct? So, so you, are, you, are, you can build your own applications to support as a IT service process and your HR business process and customer processes and these customer processes are these pre-built applications in service now, right? So because of these many reasons, ServiceNow uses so many customers and so many companies are using the ServiceNow as a cloud platform, correct? So what are the languages we'll use in ServiceNow? JavaScript as a main programming language used in ServiceNow and AngularJS we can use in Service Portal and other places and jQuery, Node.js and Bootstrap and um, scripting libraries we can use at times. Right. So we can also use in HTML and CSS used throughout the service now and the service now, now portal as well. Right. So what are the various versions in, in service now? So we have various versions. These versions are named it as based on the locations and based on the countries. Right. So first of all, first version is has been and that is released in 2011. And second version is Berlin, released in 2012. And Calgary and Dublin is released in 2013. And Eureka and, uh, and Fuji released in 2015. And Geneva is released in 2015 as well. And Helsinki released in 2016. And Istanbul and Jakarta released in 2017. And Kingston and London released in 2018 and Madrid and New York released in 2019 and Orlando released in 20 and Paris as well released in 20 and the current version is Quebec and the next coming upcoming version is Rome. Right. These are the so many various 
persons in service now right so who uses the service now so actually employees can use the service now and it support staff uses the service now to manage service requests and incidents and problems and administrations can manage how other user access the service now and they make the application available to select the users by granting the user roles and other access controls right they also typically manage notifications and uh, reports as well right and implementers can use the service now and developers can use the service now so uh, service now is a platform as saas and saas is a software as a service right so it provides the remote access to it management software through a web based interface correct so pass platform as a service and refers to the delivery of the solution stack and uh, service now having a java based platform using the tomcat web server running on the linux so we have various uh, service now modules like service management and customer service and hrs and secops and grc and we have it operations and management it business management and we have so many sub modules in uh, in service now that is called as incident problem change and customer services and hr modules and we have so many sub modules in the service now so, and what are the keywords in service now single tenant and multi tenant and sso lab and integrations and glide record and configure management database cmdb as well as task and workflows and apis and plugins right so whenever we are developing in the real time we use these releases as a, in a company right so first of all we can build our development instance so there we can write the development activities then we move on to the product test uh, everything is tested there and it will move on to the test and uat so everything looks fine in a test and uat we can move to the stage instance and stage we can test all the scenarios if the all the scenarios are passing so we can finally move to the production and we can uh, we can deploy our application in live right so these are the various releases which we follow in real time so what what is the basic tables in service now we have various tables in service now but we are talking about only um, main tables so task table is a parent table of all, almost all the tables so sys user table it will store the sys user data and core company table it will store the core company data and sys domain it will save the domain data and task sla it will save the sls that are applied contract sla to define slas and sc request item to see the service request and cmdb ci table to see the cmdb data right so what can you do to learn more about service now so focus on learning how to use the application fast and navigation as well as the create instant incident and problem change right and first of all you have to get your own instance by using developers.servicenow.com right so you can refer these links you'll get more data so thank you everyone Please like, share and subscribe to my channel Muttu Service Now Learning. Thank you everyone.